This morning we begin chapel with a chapel talk by one of your peers. Please help me welcome Molly Gulman. I love my life. I have a great family and the best friends. School's all right for me. The story of my life is happy, full of fun. But is it interesting? So here we go, first day back, second semester. I'm having a pretty good day. And then I get to C-Block, public speaking. Our first task is to introduce a partner to the class. What's their name? Where are they from? Why are they taking public speaking? And one interesting story about them. OK, my name, I can do that. My hometown, know that one too. Why am I in this class? Duh, because I like to talk. <laughs> and then the stinger. One interesting story about myself. I sat there and thought for a couple minutes. Nothing. A couple more minutes, and still nothing good. In the next few minutes, I began to get frustrated with myself. Come on, Molly. Why can't you think of one interesting story about yourself? I wanted to tell the class once I was skydiving and... But no. I would have been lying. I'm not gutsy enough to jump out of an airplane. I wanted to tell them about the time I saw a sunken ship while I was scuba diving off the coast of Madagascar. But no, again, I would have been lying. Scuba diving's dangerous. <laughs> so then I'm sitting there, terrified, because apparently my life had been nothing but boring. My turn. I go with a true but rather uninteresting story and sit back down, kind of angry at myself and scared that I'd been wasting my life. I decided right then and there that I could no longer be afraid to take risks. You can't be successful if you aren't willing to risk it all, or even just a little bit. Since that day, I've been looking at risks and my fears differently. Yes, I'm still scared of the dark. And no, I haven't suddenly decided I'm going to jump out of a plane. I'm taking smaller steps. Signing up for Mr. Trebelcock's intro to welding class next year isn't putting my life in danger, I hope. <laughs> but can you imagine the stories that would come out of it? I realized, and I'm telling you all to save you some frustration in the future, that it should only take you a split second to think of something interesting about yourself. You should live your life so that you're overflowing with funny, exciting, unique stories that you want to share with other people. When you're scared, when you don't want to take a chance, don't sit there and worry about the worst thing that could happen. Think to yourself, what's the best thing that could happen? Be adventurous. Take risks. You'll never have anything interesting to say if you don't. Thank you. Thank you, Molly.